Gray sprang out of bed, fueled by the excitement of her drawing challenge. However, her intention took an unexpected detour as she received a text message from her ex, Chris. Despite their official separation, they maintained regular communication. Chris proposed a breakfast meeting and asked for a favor, leaving Grace intrigued. They met, and Chris surprised her with a proposition to move in together and restart their relationship. This unexpected turn of events disrupted Grace's day, making it difficult for her to focus on her drawing challenge. Thoughts of their past and uncertain future clouded her mind, postponing her artistic aspirations for another day. On the second day, Grace reached out to her old friend, seeking guidance amidst the conflicting emotions she experienced. Her friend urged her to seize the opportunity, emphasizing the fear that often accompanies being alone at a certain age. Caught in the whirlwind of thoughts, Grace might oscillate between the newfound freedom she had begun to appreciate after years of lackluster marriage and the potential security of a relationship with someone she trusted. Seeking further clarity, Grace decided to talk to her daughter. However, due to the time difference between North America and Europe, she had to wait another day for their conversation. Her daughter and son-in-law recently moved to the north of Sweden, where he found a promising job opportunity. Grace discovered that her daughter was facing challenges within her own marriage, and her advice to her mother was clear, to cherish independence. With her mind torn between conflicting perspectives and her concerns for her daughter weighing heavily on her heart, Grace found herself standing at a crossroads. As the night approached, anxiety consumed her, causing her to pace restlessly through the kitchen, living room, and bedroom. Overwhelmed by her emotions, Grace reached a breaking point. She stopped abruptly, gripping her hair in frustration, and let out a desperate cry for help. Please, someone, guide me. I don't know what to do. A moment of stillness followed, and she clearly heard a gentle whisper. Look on the left nightstand. Following the command, Grace's eyes fell upon an album and a set of markers. Memories of her dream flooded her mind. There, the artist had mentioned that Neurographica could help calm the mind, though it seemed too surreal to believe. Without hesitation, Grace grabbed a sheet of paper and began drawing the wavy lines she had observed in the artist's drawings. Starting slowly, she focused on the lines, but soon her hand gained momentum, moving in a frenzy of up and down, left and right. Driven by uncontrollable energy, she took another sheet and continued the catharsis release. The marker swiftly moved across the paper, crisscrossing in diagonals and circles until the felt tip squished, leaving an end to her frenzied marks. Surprisingly, a sense of calm overcame her as she surveyed the destroyed piece of paper. With a thought of garbage, she crumpled it up and tossed it aside. She needed instructions. Grace switched on her tablet and found the suggested channel. The first video's title caught her attention, Drawing the Stress Away. Intrigued, she clicked on it, greeted by the warm welcome of the instructor. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Neurographic Art and Life Studio. I am Ali, a certified neurographic instructor. Today, we will draw one of the most powerful techniques in neurographica, known for its effectiveness in managing stress and intense emotions. Grace slid her finger further, eagerly seeking the miraculous technique. The instructor continued her explanations, guiding viewers on how to draw the neural eye consciously and round the corners to address sharpness in attitude. Fool. Grace thought, frustration brewing within her. It's easy for you to guide others to draw the neural lines consciously, while their minds may be splitting in hearts breaking. Her anger simmered as she gazed on the instructor's scum face and listened to the soothing voice. Yet there was something familiar about those bluish-gray eyes and penetrating gaze, as if they peered through Grace into a distant realm. Suppressing the urge to turn off the video, Grace pushed forward with curiosity. The next segment captured her attention as the seemingly relaxed extrantla boldly executed an inappropriate action, reminiscent of Grace's early outburst. With a forceful stroke, the instructor vigorously scribbled on the paper, even emitting a muffled scream at the pen 
tool through the center. We call this as catharsis, an unconscious outburst of emotions, the instructor explained. Her words resonated with Grace. With newfound interest, she retrieved the crumpled piece of paper, gently unfolding it and laying it on the table before her. As her eyes met the chaotic lines, a sense of connection formed between her and the presenter, whose name she has already forgotten. Ah, Ali. On the screen, only Ali's hands were visible. Slender fingers with pale nail polish and a cat-like scratches on the right hand. The sight evoked a warm fondness within Grace, reminding her of their beloved Siamese cat Mirror. After Mira's peaceful departure from their lives after 18 years, Grace had chosen not to bring any more pets into her home. Realizing her mind had drifted into the past, Grace refocused her attention. She recognized the need to stay engaged. However, she couldn't deny the touch of sweetness that the thought of her furry companion brought. Although the loss had been a somber event for the family, it had swiftly passed as their daughter's marriage approached, heralding new beginnings. Yes, new beginnings, Grace sighed and turned to the screen. Why do we have to have a theme or intention in every neurographical drawing? Grace wondered aloud, generally curious about this new perspective. The instructor's response was insightful. We need to focus our conscious mind in a specific direction if you want to achieve a result, she explained. In every action you take, there lies an intention, even if unspoken. Creating art with neurographica can be a way to relax and calm the mind or to express your creativity through a greeting card for a friend. But your intention is to relax or to draw a greeting card. As Grace absorbed the information, she realized the significance of being present in each moment and setting clear goals with this kind of art. It was intriguing to connect intention with freely creating art, something she had never considered before. The instructor continued, guiding Grace to use the neurographica technique to shift her perception and attitude towards a certain emotion or feeling. Recall your theme or topic now, she prompted, and Grace thought about her own emotions after drawing the catharsic scribble. In that silent room, Grace heard a soft voice whispering in her ears, Wish for a solution. She instantly obeyed and said aloud, I want a solution. The sound sound of her own voice seemed to echo as she glanced around, feeling someone's presence in the stillness of the night. Now, let's start drawing, the gentle voice of the instructor continued. This drawing represents the energy of your feeling or emotion. It is potent. It can be used in a smart way. We use intention to direct it towards the desired outcome. If there is no goal, this energy will remain diffused, which can be helped for the time being. However, you can harness this energy to fuel your desired result. Grace followed the instructions and began drawing neurographic lines consciously over the existing catharsic scribble. As she watched the video, a sense of calm washed over her. The fluid movements of the artist's hands, the soothing voice, and the encouraging tone all pleasantly affected her. At times, Grace felt hurried and anxious, resulting in straighter lines that reflected her attention. But she persisted, repeating with each stroke, A solution to my situation now. I want a solution. The act of drawing with intention felt empowering, yet tiring. Grace could sense the energy of her emotions being directed towards the desired resolution, the experience of a different from drawing alone. She felt supported by the instructor's virtual presence. When all the catharsic lines are finished and covered by the neural lines, Ali suggested, it's time to round the corners. Grace followed it along, but the movement felt mechanical and a wave of drowsiness began to sweep over her. Nevertheless, there was a certain comfort in the process. Yet, her perfection is crept in, and she couldn't help but compare her course to Alice's elegant lines. Some of the short lines seemed to stick out like barbed wire, and frustration tugged at her. She had always been confident in her drawing abilities honed over 30 years of teaching, but that night, her hand seemed to have a will of its own. Feeling ready to give up and continue the next day, Grace was about to set aside her work. However, 
Alice's voice broke through, urging her. One important suggestion. All the corners are on these lines have to be rounded or curved before you continue with the next stage. Please remain focused and continue until you finish all the corners. Grace felt perplexed. Why did rounding the corners matter so much? It reminded her of her teaching days, enforcing rules without explanations. How many times had she imposed tasks on her pupils without giving them the reasons? Strangely, she had never questioned those rules herself. Yet, as she gazed at the drawing with only half the corners rounded, the other half sharp and menacing, she couldn't bear to leave it incomplete. The pain it evoked mirrored her inner turmoil. Rounding is an important element, continued Ali. Here, we confront our inner demons, ensuring they don't consume us. Do I carry resistance with me? Grace wondered. Am I unable to make peace with myself and others? Grace tried to absorb Ali's words, but her thoughts swirled like a whirlpool, carrying her away into a dreamlike state. She felt how her cheek touched the paper on the table, and the scent of her hand cream filled her senses. In her half-dream state, the lines before her eyes flowed like water, creating gentle transition, just as Ali had demonstrated. The lines seemed to dance upon the water's surface as it shimmered in the sunlight. The current pulled them, forming waves that transformed the lines into patterns of light, reminiscent of neurographic drawing. And from the depth of those captivating ripples, familiar eyes gazed at her with understanding and wisdom, as if the water itself held the secrets of your soul. Make it blue and green. Let it go with the water. Tell the water to carry your anxiety away. Let it go with the flowing water, whispered the voice in her dream. Grace accepted the idea and thought back. I'll let my troubles flow with the water. The solution is to let it flow. My intention is to find a solution or to recognize one. I can. I will.